It was summertime on the island of Sodor, and Sir Top and Hat's engines were very busy. But one day was an unusual day. The main line was going to be closed due to an expensive overhaul. So it was the last day for the engines to go across the main line. One evening, Thomas returned to Tidbit Sheds very exhausted. Goodness gracious me, Thomas said wearily. I heard the main line is closed for the week. Hopefully it will reopen again in five days, said Gordon pompously. Well, you won't find me complaining, said Oliver. Duck's branch line is still open, and there's no overhaul happening. It's just the main line. You're right, Oliver, said James. Thomas and Edward's branch line are still open. We won't be using the main line for a while, said James. Then Henry had an idea. You know what, Oliver? asked Henry. I'm going to the mainland to find another engine. Oliver wasn't sure what Henry had said. Are you really doing this? asked Oliver. If an engine says no, then he doesn't want to go to Sodor with you. But Henry paid no attention. He just wanted to do something exciting more than ever. The next day, the main line was closed, and Jack and Max quickly got to work. And soon, Henry collected the goods train from the shunting yard and set off for the mainland. Soon, Henry just arrived at the mainland. He couldn't see any new engines anywhere. All Henry could see was Spencer. Hello, Spencer, said Henry. Hello, Henry, said Spencer. What can I do for you? I need you to help me find another engine so I can bring him back to Sodor, Spencer, said Henry. Spencer looked around. He couldn't see any new engines anywhere. Well, that's just the empty siding, said Spencer. But he was wrong. Then Henry discovered that a yellow tender engine had broken down. Spencer was surprised. The yellow engine is in my way, said Spencer. Now, Henry, you want to take him home or what? How about you take the goods, said Henry. Then you will leave the coach here until... I come to Sodor. You can finish your job if you want, Spencer. Spencer smiled. Then you got a deal. So Henry was uncoupled from his goods train and he puffed away. Henry knew he had to do. Henry had never seen a yellow tender engine before. Hello, said Henry. Who are you? I'm Jackson, said the yellow engine sadly. I can't go anywhere because I've blasted my cylinder. Then Henry had an idea. I can take you to the work zone, Sodor, said Henry. You can? asked the engine. Sure thing, Jackson, said Henry. So Henry buffered up to Jackson. Spencer was impatient. Hurry up! I must take the Duke and Duchess to lunch today. So Henry had backed into his goods train. And then he was coupled up again. Okay, said Henry. Let's go home, Jackson! All right, said Jackson. And together they set off back to Sodor.
Next, it was Spencer's turn to go, and he set off to lunch with the Duke and Duchess of Foxford. So Henry had dropped off the goods train at the docks and parked the engine at the works. Henry wanted to introduce Sir Topham Hatt to Jackson. Who's that? asked Sir Topham Hatt. It's Jackson, sir, said Henry happily. He's going to help us through our railway this week. Then Sir Topham Hatt looked at the yellow engine. Uh, sir, said Jackson, I need to get repaired so I can have a new cylinder. Welcome to Sodor, Jackson, said Sir Topham Hatt. We'll get you repaired in no time. Henry smiled. And Jackson's life was about to begin.